Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Binky. Yes, so I'm finally getting to my project pan video. I know it is February. It is coming towards the end of February and I actually have been working on things. I just, again, I've been really crazy busy lately, ridiculously busy and I haven't been posting as much and I apologize. I'm trying to do better. You know, I've been taking care of other things that were my New Year's resolutions before this. So, you know, the ones that actually kind of made me money and are my hobbies, which not saying that this isn't, but they're two separate kind of things. But I love doing this, but there's only 24 hours a day. But I'm here and I'm working on my project pan. So last year I kind of, I didn't give up on what I was doing, but I kind of stopped because it wasn't as organized as I would have liked it. And I'm going to be honest, I have a list of things and it isn't as organized as I would like. Some of it is, some of it isn't. Um, I have an idea mostly what I'm doing. I know it's a little bit different for everyone, so bear with me on this. So first off, what I wanna say is I wasn't originally sure how I was gonna approach this whole thing this year, and then um, I'm a big fan of Beauty News, and they are doing a team project pan this year to get everybody kind of involved. And I decided I was gonna join this as well. Um, they gave a spreadsheet, which I like because I, I, I was being lazy. <laughs> and so they, they had it all there for me. There are certain categories that I will not use. I just don't, I, do, I don't use contouring and things like that, so I'm not gonna put it there. But what I'm gonna do is I may attach it inside the body of this video, just so you can see what I'm kind of doing. It may not be until March, just because I really want to get it together and think it through. But for me, I really want to get through things. I'm kind of in a decluttering phase of my life anyway, um, just in general. I've gotten rid of a lot of shoes, donated shoes, clothes, gone through my cupboards, got rid of stuff that I wasn't going to use, donated stuff. I'm really trying to pare down my life in a lot of ways. I feel like the more stuff that people sometimes have, the more that we lose sight of where we should really be in life, and that's kind of where I'm at. Um, and I think it's a very good thing and a very freeing thing. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop buying makeup. I am. I'm just going to be more conscious of why I'm doing it before I do, if that makes sense. So that's kind of where I am at. So this is going to be a little bit more organized in March, but I do have a general idea of what I want to do. What I have mentioned in another video is that I, um, tend to hoard a lot of stuff, but skincare and so I have a hundred pieces of skincare I'm not gonna list them all because it would take too damn long so what I'm going to do is I put most of them into a spreadsheet and then as I use them I'll add different ones and then blur it out or knock it out once it's done just so at the end of the year I could see where I was at my goal is to buy very limited skincare, very limited. I will buy what items that I use over and over just because it's good for my face and I want to do that or it's good for my skin. So I'm going to keep doing that. But as far as buying new products, I'm not going to do it because I have way too much. And I am not exaggerating when I say I have 100 pieces. I've been working on it. And I'll be showing that my project pan for January, February at the end of February. So you can see that probably the first week of March. And I have made some progress and I'm quite happy. That doesn't mean I'm like slathering things on to get through it quickly. I don't want to do that. I want to use it in a way that I really would. What's the point otherwise? But I know if I don't start using this stuff, it's going to go bad and I don't want to do that. So this is really important for me to, you know, push forward and, um, you know, get that done. So that that's really important. So I'm not going to go into that too much, but it's things like hand creams. I want to get through um, 10 hand creams this year, and I use hand cream all the time. I want to get through 10 uh, lip balms and things. Some of them I don't use when I sleep. I'll use them when I like am doing a lip swatch video. That counts too, because there's certain reasons which I'll get to into when I start going through my project pan more in detail. Um, body scrubs, I have five of those that I would like to get through this year, five or six of those. Moisturizers, body moisturizers, I have 10 that I would like to get through. Things like that, that's what I'm focusing on. And so it's like more of 10, 10, 10, and then I'll cross it off. Like I've already gotten through almost two body butters, which means I only have eight left for this year. Yeah, getting it done. So it's things like that, and you'll see that when I go through my 
Team Project Pan where I'm at at the moment. Things also like perfume. I love perfume and I'm not gonna lie, I tend to hoard it a little bit. You know, I, I love Hypnotic Poison. This is one of my scents. I always wear this, I love vanilla. But I have a backup bottle and so I wanna get through this. There's no reason to have all these backups, but to be fair, my friend was working um, on the West Coast at Nordstrom, so she got a really huge discount and that's why I kinda hoarded them. Before she left, she's like, adios, and left, but yeah, she picked me up some great stuff. You know, two and two is another one. This one, I think, um, what is this called? I don't even remember. Oh, Velvet Sugar from Bath and Body Works. I used to shop there. I don't need longer. This thing's broken. It's terrible. It just doesn't work. I have two of these, so what I've been doing is dipping it onto my body with my fingers, and I can't wait to get rid of these. I'm not going to throw it out, but this was just garbage, this whole thing, so I wasn't a huge fan. And then something like Toka Florence. I have three of these, and so it's one of my favorite scents ever, and so I want to knock it down to two, and it's lasted me a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, so there's five fragrances that I really want to get through this year. There's one other one. I don't have it here right now. This one I'm almost done with, but that's kind of my goal. You know, these two tend to be a little bit more um, summer, spring. That's what it is. It's pink sugar, I think. Yeah, I'll list that one, but I wear that more in the summer, and so it's a nice mix here, but I have so many perfumes, I need to knock that stuff out. I also have a buttload yeah, I said buttload, of samples, and I need to start getting rid of that stuff too because it's taking up a big amount underneath my sink, and I don't want that, and perfumes and stuff. So I'm going to start going back to the sampler, which was a video section of mine from before, and we're going to start going through it and say, would this tempt me to buy it? No, it's coming back. As far as foundations, yes. So I am going to go, I'm trying to get through quite a bit. That is my goal. Now this is my go to and it's by Misha and I am not saying it Cho Bo Young Cho Bo Young I'll put it to the side Cho Bo Young it's Korean I love it this is what I wear all the time for foundation it is more of a dewy look and um I'm almost panned made my first one I was using it all last year I have another one I'm, I'm not going to necessarily pan it this year because I have other things that I want to pan and it's new so I don't have to rush through it but I love this and I will keep using it. It's very dewy, beautiful. I'll get into it more in the project pan, but it's fantastic. I also have this other one from Misha. I have not used it. So I'm curious to see if it works this way. This is dewy, I hope this is dewy. The Koreans tend to like dewy makeup more. My skin makes natural dew because I'm greasy. <laughs> but I like the look. I'm not into matte. And I used to think I was into matte until I realized I'm not into matte. And so I have these two items, and this is the Ultra Wear by Lanacombe, and this is Makeup Forever. And it's their Matte Plus, I think, Matte Velvet Plus. No, I just, I've been using this on my eyes. It's really hard to see what's in there, but what I do is I prep my eyes with the primer, and then I use this first, and it works really well for that. But as far as my face, it would just crack it. It would just crack the makeup, and it didn't work well, so I'm not really a big fan. Um, and then this one, I'm going to get through two. So my goal is to get through these three items, and it can be done. I know it seems like a lot, but I, I can do it. I can do this, I swear, and I'm going to try to do that because and finish this guy off because it's really important for me to get through that. As far as powders, so I, I, I'm really going for it this year. So this is Cover FX. I've never really used it. I've heard great things. So that's another item I want to get through. It's a loose powder. I don't tend to use the loose powders as much, um, but I have them for why I don't know, so I'm going to try to. I tend to like the ones like this. This is um, by Soap and Glory, one heck of a blot. I actually really like this one, though I feel that sometimes it can be a little bit heavy, but I already panned it. And so you might as well finish it off. Pretty happy about that. I could definitely do that this year. And then Bare Minerals that I got from BoxyCharm. Um, I've been going through this, and this thing goes on forever, but you can see I've made quite a big dent, and so I'm gonna keep using this as well and hope to get rid of these three powders out of my collection because they're just taking up space, and I have even more. But I need to just get through as many as possible. Ah, I totally lied to you. I also have another one. This is Double Wear by Estee Lauder. This color is not great, so for me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mix it 
with one of the Korean ones that matches a little bit better. I may end up doing that with all of them because a lot of these were matte finishes when I was trying to save my face. And then I realized I don't really like the matte finish on my face. I think it was a big phase that everybody was really big into. Let's make our face look matte. And I realized even when it was big and trendy, I didn't like the look on me. I don't like it. I just, to me, it looks a little bit cakey on my skin and it just, it doesn't suit me for myself. So I'm going to mix it with a more dewy one, but I definitely want to get through these. These things cost money, so I definitely, it's, it's a lot. I probably won't get through it. I'm aiming high. That's what I do. Aim high and be disappointed later. My life story. So next is getting through liners. Now, I'm not a huge fan of, of, of these type of liners. I bought a whole bunch because they were on sale. And actually, this is interesting because the one that I love the most is NYX. NYX has the best liner in the world, if you can see it right there. I love that. I have bought so many of these. You don't get a lot of product, I have to be honest. This probably lasts like a month and a half and then you gotta get a new one. So it's kind of my ride or die. I love this thing. I freaking love the, it so much. I prefer the brush. I'm realizing I don't like the tip so much, like the Stila ones, but they work fine. But I really wanna get through all of these and see if I really like them instead of hoarding a whole bunch of these. See if I like them. And I have five different colors. And yeah, they're five different. So five different colors and use them and see how I feel about them and if I would repurchase them. It's just I have so many eyeliners. Part of me wants to move to pots or using eyeshadow because this is a lot of plastic to be putting into the universe and I really don't want to be doing that. So it's another reason why I'm cutting down on things like that. I also have this one from the Vlada collection that I want to get through, which is really nice. It's like a rose gold that I would use during the summer more. I just think it would work better then. I would like to pan that as well. So, I mean, those I don't know how long these last, so we'll see if this is realistic or not. And then I have these from... Korean brands and I don't really e e eclipse eclipse I'll put it to the side but there's these five here and to be honest with you I probably won't get through them all I probably won't but I want to get through them as much as possible I like these pencils because you can roll them up like this and you can use them underneath your eye in the waterline or in the corner right here in the tear ducts and these work really really nice and they hold really well but I do want to use them because it's just again it's a lot of these things just kind of laying around that I really don't need. Now single eyeshadows. I'm actually trying to get through ColourPop. I have a video coming up. It is not an exciting video but it's me going through all my ColourPop colors and slowly letting them go um, and so it's kind of a decluttering of sorts. You know it's very on the fly. I wasn't even going to do it but then I was like you know what just do it. And here I did it. <laughs> and um, so I have these three that I am working on panning. This one I'm almost done with. It's called Bite. So things like that, just these three colors. Um, this one is smashed to hell, but I'm going to do that. And then this one is completely unused. So I really want to get through that. I'll definitely get through Bite. I mean, there's really nothing left. I'm just scraping it up at this point, and I use it underneath my brow bone. I really like it. I will get through it. Um, I don't really like their mattes all that much, but it's kind of nice, especially during the winter, because it's a little bit more creamy, so keeps your eyes hydrated. And then blushes. Blushes are a pain in the ass to get through. And if you were watching my Project Pan last year, you know that I've been going through this Misha blush forever in this nice packaging, and I'm happy to announce that I panned it this week. I hit pan. I was so excited. And so it makes me want to push forward. I've been using this for a year. I'm so damn tired of this. So tired of it. But I decided to add into the mix um, by Rimmel. This is Berry. And so I mix these two together every morning and it just really works for my skin tone. So I'm going to keep pushing to get these two out, especially because I've had this one forever. And this one just... It just needs to go. Now as far as lipsticks, I'm still working on that. I know, I have quite a lot that I need to weed through and I haven't fully done the list yet. I know that I want to do from Bite Beauty Collection the color Cancer the Crab. I'm almost done with that so I want to continue using that one. I really love that color and it's something that I can easily pan. I have two of them. I don't need two. So, and a couple of the minis. <laughs> yes, I'm a mess. So my goal is to um, this year, I would like to get through 10 minis of not just by beauty of a few that I have, a few lipsticks, so 10 minis. And then I would like to get through 
um, goddess. I have to find it from Lorac. And then there was the spiced plum that was by Beauty. I was almost done with that. I can't find it anywhere. And then I want, you know, Cancer the Crab is, is the third one. So those are the three that I am trying to pan. And then once I get through those, then I can add something else. I think, um, oh, there's another one. There's a Mac one that I want that I bought two of. I will put that to the side. That is number four. And then I think I'm going with the fifth, which I am almost done with as well, which is Tarte. And I will put that to the side. So that's five lipsticks. I'm already mostly through them. So this should be easy. So I'm just going to push through and love life. Heck yeah, <laughs> because I just need to get rid of some stuff. The next one is lip glosses. Now I haven't picked these yet, but my goal is to get through five of them. I know, I know it's a lot, but I think I can do it um, and just start trying to declutter some, trying to wear a lot of different ones to also try to get them out of there. So I don't know how I'm gonna pan stuff when I'm trying like a hundred other different ones, but I'm gonna figure it out because that's what I do. But that one's still kind of in the works, so watch for that. And then the last thing is eyeshadow. Now we know nobody's gonna pan eyeshadow. It, it, it's just very difficult to do. And if you watched my video last year, you know Too Faced Honey, the honey palette. Damn, I can't get rid of this thing. I just can't, but I'm sticking by it because I really wanna stick by something and do it. And so this is where it's at this year. No matter what, I am panning this bad boy this year. And when I do, I'm getting rid of it. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I just, this yellow shade is just, it does not work for me, I don't like it, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna force myself to use a color that I don't like or wouldn't use. So this one I'm going to basically break out when I do my um, January, February catch up of Project Pan, then I'm just gonna destroy this. Just so it's out of there, we move on. These guys, I'm, oh, I can get through. I use them every day to prep my eye, and then it's more of, well, actually this one, I use quite a lot, but for a different thing, I use it in my brows. Believe it or not, I use it in my brows. I'm not a big brow girl, to be honest, but to kind of fill things in, and I, I will do that, and so that's why it looks like that, and I mix it with this one, so these two together, and then these I use, this more in the summer for a crease, and then this in the corner, and then this for a crease. So I'm gonna get through this. I cannot wait to get rid of that thing, it's just been, thing of nightmares. So the other ones are Zoeva palettes. Now this I'm not going to pan this year. There's no darn way, but I would like to get through a couple colors. Mostly these two at the end, which are um, once I get rid of Bite, I can use that and it's more for prepping the eye. And just start going through these. I'm never going to use the black. I'm just not big into black. Um, it's a little bit too harsh on somebody of my skin tone, so I probably will not use that color. Um, I have so many black shadows and I just don't like them. Unless it's really good, what I may do is just pop it out once I use everything else and then keep it. But um, I just want to use that a little bit more. The last one that I want to use is, and I'll do a review on this, is Sweet Glamour. And this is from Zoeva as well. I will do a review on this probably more in the spring when I actually start using it again. Um, it's an interesting palette. I love pastels. Pastels are not great for most people, but because I am so fair, they work really well on me. But I can see why a lot of people would be turned off by them. <sighs> this palette, um, let me tell you, these purples are absolutely beautiful, but you have to really dig in to get the color that you want. So what I'm finding, even with this green, I had to dig in to get the color that I wanted. And these aren't extremely pigmented, but that's not unusual for, um, for pastels. They're kind of difficult to formulate, so these are no exception. So that's why throwing this in Project Pan is to get the color build that you need, you really have to dig in there and then put it on your eye. And so I'm gonna get through these really quickly because there's not a lot of pigment. So that is my goal. I love these during the summer and spring. And so I'm really excited, but I have so many pastel palettes because I collect them that I just, if I were gonna get rid of any of them, it would be that one. So that's where I'm at. So yes, I know, that's a lot. I know a lot of people are gonna look at this and say, you're, you're really setting yourself up to failure, but I don't see it as that. As long as I'm getting stuff out of here, I don't see it as failure, I see it as a good thing. And I'm bringing in less, and already in January and February, I've cut down my spending quite a bit, quite a bit. And so what I'm gonna do is do videos that show what I bought in the month of January and February, and 
why I brought them into my collection. And it was interesting. I thought about doing this last year, probably mid-year, and then I didn't. And then I saw that Haley from Beauty News is doing it. And I was like, look at you, great minds, girl. So yeah, so it was actually something I was going to do last year, but then I kind of fell off the face of the planet. So I'm glad somebody else is doing that too, because it makes you see why you buy what you do. And in this case, I'm going to bring them in, I'm going to use them, and then I'm going to review the items at the end of the month or when I've had time to use them so that you can see what I actually felt. Because if I'm buying them and showing you them, I want you actually to see why I bought them and if they were a disappointment or if they weren't. So I'm really going to be focusing on that quite a bit. And then I hope to look at what I used in my collection, see the price versus what I spent and see if it washes itself out, if that makes sense. Because it's like, okay, well I used all these products and I didn't spend money, but I spent this. What did I do? And I'm actually quite happy about it. I'm really quite happy about what I'm doing and starting to be a little bit more mindful and you can do it. I'm doing it. I think it's a great thing and I'm really excited. This year, you know, it's a good start and so Time to be mindful, enjoy what you have, and not just keep spending just to spend. You know, because I know with me I get really excited and then I have it and it's on to the next thing. And now I'm actually taking responsibility for what I buy. So let me know, are you doing a project pan? If not, that's okay too. You don't have to do it. You may have a smaller collection or you may be a collector and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So you do what you need to do. And if you are doing a project pan, let me know how it's been going, how you feel about this year. Are you planning on doing a low buy, keeping a regular buy or going hog wild? Let me know because I would love to hear. And until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye.